Hi, welcome back to Colorado and Company. You know the holiday shopping season is in full swing, and there's an opportunity for you to buy all your gifts in one place. The Young Entrepreneurs Marketplace, hosted by the Young American Center for Financial Education, brings together more than 150 business owners under the age of 21, and these crafty kids have created unique and fun gifts that will be perfect for everyone on your list. And here with more, Katie Payer. She's a vice president of communications with Young Americans. And Maida, an aspiring and inspiring entrepreneur. Nice to see both of you and all your friends you brought too. Very cool. So Katie, explain more about the Young American Center for Financial Education. Tell me exactly what you all do. Definitely, Denise. We offer the Young Americans Bank, the only bank in the world just for young people. And we also offer programs like Young American Town and International Town that teach young people here like Meta about personal finance and also entrepreneurship. And you're hosting a holiday marketplace. We are and Meta is going to be one of the sellers at this marketplace. Exciting news to share with us this week too? We do. We do have exciting news. We recently merged with Youth Biz, which is a long-standing organization here in Denver that has helped young people in the Five Points area get their business started. So Very cool. We have been working with people like Maida, and now we get to work with some of the students from Youth Biz. I love that. Maida, how old are you? I'm eight. You're eight years old. And tell me about your business. Well, my business is called Maida's Homemade Things. Um, I make upcycled doll clothes, and they are upcycled from old kids' clothes that were used, and um, they are... I love it. Wait a minute. Is that Elizabeth who you're holding right now? Elizabeth? Well, will you look at this? I have the same dress that Elizabeth has. Can I wear this? I don't think it would fit you. you it will fit me? Wait a minute, maybe it'll be an arm cuff. Maybe I could do that, start something new, right? Cool, huh? <laughs> so all of these dresses you made yourself. When did you get the idea to create a business like this? Did mom help? Um, well, I got it from my grandma mainly because she showed me the trick and I thought maybe I could make a business out of it. And my friends also showed me a little bit of cool projects and I got some inspiration from that. And that is so neat. And art teacher too. I wish I would have known you and you would have been my BFF when I was younger. You could have helped me with all my dolls. That would have been cool. What's your best selling item? Well, I haven't really done this yet, so I don't really have a best-selling item, but I think it'll be one of the fancier ones. One of the fancy dresses? Like, maybe tell me about this doll, then. This one yeah. is one of my favorites. Ah, I love it. And I like a lot of where it's really, like, um, Let's flashy. show it to the camera. Let's show this. Did you make the shoes too? No. Just the dress. The dress is beautiful. So this would be like if she needed to dress up and go to a school dance or maybe out to dinner, someplace fancy, right? Very cool. I love it. What's your favorite th thing to sew? Um, doll clothes. All really doll like clothes. And tell me about that. the other doll that we have here. Let's hold this it up to the camera. This one is one of my... Um, Ones that I think is a little bit more like picnicky and outdoorsy. I totally agree. This is something they could wear when they go um, out to a picnic or to the beach or something, right? And my favorite part about it is this little ruffle right here. I love it. Are these were these your clothes? Part of your clothes collection? Um, well, a couple of them, but not this one. And a lot of them weren't, but maybe two or three were. Mm -hmm. And where do you get all of your ideas? Do you look at magazines or do well, you think of like, well, this is what I would like to wear? I looked at red carpet dresses. You looked at red carpet dresses. You did? Oh my gosh, you're like a mini me. We would get along so good. What was your favorite red carpet dress? Do you remember? Um, I think it was one that kind of looked like this one. But it had like straps and it had really fancy jewelry to go with it. So how, and I like look at her little hair tie too that she made. How can we buy Maida's clothes? How can we get in touch with you and, and order online for maybe our nieces, our kids, our daughters, um, sisters? Well, I don't really know how you can order online, but um, if you go to my stand, 
you can ask for my email, and I, and then you can email me if you want a certain dress made. So when you saw. go to her stand, that's at the Holiday Mart. At the Marketplace. Okay, so tell me more about the Marketplace then. Sure. So the Marketplace takes place this Saturday in Cherry Creek and also next Saturday in Lakewood, and we've got 150 business owners just like Maida, up to age 21, who are selling things like homemade doll clothes, we've got greeting cards, we've got lots of fun, yummy homemade treats for the holidays, yeah. and good stocking stuffers as well. This is like the future Vera Wang right here. You're going to be designing okay. like red carpet dresses and wedding dresses. Cool. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm going to say that I knew you first too, okay? Okay. <laughs> the Young Entrepreneurs Marketplace takes place this Saturday, December 6th at Cherry Creek from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. You can also shop next Saturday, December 13th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. in Lakewood. And find more details at yacenter.org. Come out and support young business owners and get something for everyone on your holiday gift list, including these wonderful, cute little doll outfits. you got to buy them from Meta.